Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer's Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of September going into the beginning of October. Okay, for those of you guys interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. Oh, you'll definitely be able to find my contact information on there. All right, Cancers, you have cards speaking to you already. So I'm going to be pulling out four cards for you and then four cards for your partner or the person you're dealing with. And uh, the current situation, okay? So let's get into your reading. So Cancers, your cards definitely popped out already. You have the Five of Wands, the Justice card, the Star card, and the King of Cups. Um, so you have two major arcanas from four cards that I pulled out for you. So there's definitely life events going on for you that are beyond your control at the present time. This has to do with the celestial, uh, destiny, and also karma. So give me one second. Let me pull out the cards for your partner. Spirit, give me the cards for the partner. So your partner has Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Let me pull out your general energy. Not general energy, sorry. Give me the current situation theme. Spread. Current situation card. Mid-month of September 2017. Oh. All right. Okay, well, you have... <laughs> okay, so th these are a lot of cards that I were I was actually going to pull back. But seeing how these are five cards and out of the five you have four. Actually, no, it's six cards. Out of the six cards you have three major arcana, so I'm going to stay with these. Okay, so th this may be a little bit longer than the rest of the readings, but let's get into it. Wow. Okay, Cancers, you have the Lover's card, Major Arcana, and this has to do with your general energies for the month of, the middle of the month of September going into October. So the Lover's card obviously represents partnership, but as a general energy, there's going to be cha uh, choices that you're going to have to make, Cancers, regarding a partnership or regarding love and romance. Uh, this usually represents being at crossroads, not knowing what to do in reference to should I move forward with this person or should I give the opportunity to this other person coming in. Um, I am definitely being told that there's going to be major transformations going on for you cancers out there uh, when it comes to partnerships. So partnerships is going to be massively important for you guys uh, by the end of this month going into October, even going all the way to December. So with that being said, the, the lover's card definitely represents being at crossroads, not knowing who to choose, not knowing where to place your bets, um, or being very uncertain as far as people coming in and out of your life at the present time, okay? So before I get into this, the current situation or the current theme, as you can see, these were the cards that definitely popped out. So let me just show you real quick, and then I will move forward with that. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see. But you have the moon card, you have the tower, you have the wheel of fortune, you have the king of wands and the six of wands. Okay. So the knight, sorry, the nine of wands. You've been going through a lot of difficulties when it comes to emotions, uh, perhaps not being able to balance yourself or not being able to put uh, the right attention towards the right person. Okay. Uh, this can also represent you putting a lot of effort and energy into a relationship that does not serve you one bit. Um, this is basically you've been through the ringer, uh, if not all of your life. Um, and the reason why I say that is because you do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower and the Moon. So the Moon can very well represent, obviously, Cancer. Cancer is ruled by the Moon. But this this is a cycle that's been going on. It could have been uh, it had it could have been going on for nine months, or nine years. So within the past nine months or nine years, you have an imbalance when it comes to romance and when it comes to love. So because it is a major arcana, the moon you are ruled by the moon. 
So the moon is a representation of a lot of things that are being hidden, being deceptive, being deceived. So either you're the one that's doing the deception or you're the one that's being deceived. Okay. Um, and again, like I said, this has is it's a recurring theme. This has been going on for nine months or nine years. So because the moon is coming out, this is your grounding. So what this is, is basically listen to your intuition. Uh, don't put a lot of weight on what people promise you or what people are telling you. If this is you telling them and making short promises, ultimately you're going to have to face your consequences, okay? This can also be a representation of a warning sign for you. If you're the one that's being deceptive, if you're the one that's deceiving, lying, uh, keeping things under wrap or not being upfront and honest about your intentions, you're definitely going to be uh, put in a situation where your character is going to come into question. Not only that, but you are definitely going to be faced with karma, okay, or karmatic lessons. So if you've been feeling for quite a while, and these are the, this is specifically pertaining to those of you guys that uh, are serial daters. If you've been dating multiple people at the same time, not being honest, you're the one to vanish, you're the one to come and go. Ultimately, what the moon card is telling you is you're going to, even though you're being ruled by it, obviously, uh, deception does follow the moon uh, because there's a lot of hidden energy behind that. But when instead of using it in a positive, you use it in a very self-destructive way. Ultimately, what this represents is you're going to be lost in illusion. So what that means is you're going to start believing your lies until it gets to a point where uh, universe is going to have to pan you to the wall and create such chaos in your life the reason why i say that is because the tower is here so the tower is again like i said if you're the one that's being deceptive and you're the one that's been lying to people or playing with their emotions you're definitely going to be uh put in a situation where again like i said your character is going to come into question and not only that you're going to come and find yourself in a position where no one is going to be doing you any favors and almost demoralizing yourself to the core okay and this has a lot if you're the one that's deceptive this has a lot to do with psychological issues from childhood so again uh, this could represent people coming in from your past if you grew up without a father or you grew up without a mother uh, they start coming into the picture they start trying to have some type of you know take on a role that perhaps doesn't suit them so what I mean by that is if you didn't have your mother around uh, she may be coming, popping into your life and wanting to take, uh, you know, reins a hold of you and, you know, give you the motherly type of advice where it's going to create such chaos in your life because you're going to feel like, you know what, you weren't there for me and now you want to come and tell me how to live my life. Like, I don't think so, whatever. But it's coming from a point of the tower is a representation of your body that of the godliness that of within you not the physical but within yourself so there's going to be some type of destruction there's going to be some type of shedding going on where you're going to have to come face to face with the consequences of whatever it is you've been putting forth or putting out into the world so this again like i said having to deal with karma uh having to deal with the fact that uh perhaps you thought you had someone under your control and you come to the understanding that they've been keeping secrets from you where it shakes you and it shakes you to the core almost bringing you nostalgic or even confrontation about issues that happened uh, at a very young age or in your childhood and the reason for this is again the wheel of the year the wheel of the year is definitely life events in destiny next to the tower next to the moon it's chaotic energy it's energy where it's karma basically collecting whatever it is that you have been doing to people so be very careful and very watchful about that now you do have the king of wands here and the king of wands could be a representation of a fire sign fire sign could be a person from your past that created this chaotic type of energy or perhaps served you a plate of what you had been giving to other people perhaps you committed yourself or invested yourself with this fire sign um, disregarding what you've done in the past and this person did exactly what you had done to other people okay now the six of wands here there's a feeling of victory or a sense of pride and this will most definitely again like i said if you've been the deceiver this most definitely is the shattering or the breaking of that pride and that ego uh, to finally come out uh, out of this destruction 
come out basically as almost a newborn or being reborn, um, learning your lessons and moving forward uh, with those lessons and taking under consideration other people's feelings and intentions towards you, okay? Now, for those of you guys that have been dealing with a person that is of this energy, a person that comes in and out of your life that has been playing or toying with your emotions, the tower is definitely very disruptive and it's a needed, uh, very much needed um, and these are celestial events. Again, like I said, has nothing to do. It's outside of your control at the present time. But there's definitely clarity and insight coming in uh, with this tower and this wheel of fortune. Whatever it is you have not been wanting to see, uh, whether it's, you know, the destructive pattern of the person you've been dealing with, this fire sign, um, you being blinded to it or not wanting to see or not wanting to see them for really what they are, universe is going to step in and pretty much make it very, very clear to you what this person has thought uh, either thought of you or what you mean to this person unfortunately it's not a good thing um again like i said the six of wands is definitely talking about at the end of the tunnel feeling victorious and feeling like finally i can move on perhaps you're even scared to move on based on the fact that you thought something can come out of whatever this person this coming in and out energy um almost like hopeful that they would want to settle down with you. But again, like I said, the six of cup, I mean, the six of wands is definitely talking about at the end of the, at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to win. And unfortunately, uh, universe has to step in and shake that up for you because you're on a different path. Okay. So I hope this makes sense to you. This is very long, but these were messages that came through. Okay. So with your cards, you have the five of wands and the justice card so again a lot of karma coming into you guys cancers the five of wands could be a representation of you dealing uh with family members a lot of um fights a lot of arguments or disagreements this is a love reading so it could very well represent the partner that you've been dealing with again like i said it could be a fire sign or it could be uh, a libra as well um and again uh learn the lessons that this this fire sign gave to you okay because ultimately the justice card is saying you know um unfortunately i have to keep bringing to you the same type of people um that perhaps were very self-destructive to you in the past and you just choose not to learn from that you continuously keep putting your effort or energy towards these destructive type of people so you're not learning your lesson and the justice card is here to say whether you want to see it or not is really irrelevant at this point because again like i said universe is stepping in and will bring truths out and um clarity into the situation now the reason i say clarity is because you do have the star card here and the star card is when it comes to chaotic energy or when it comes to being very uncertain uh the star card definitely represents honesty but more than honesty it represents uh being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel um, getting clarity or peace of mind, being able to see clearly and concisely uh, people's intentions, okay? Now, when it comes to your partner or the person you've been dealing with, again, it could also represent an Aquarius because it is the star card. But I feel that there is a lot of um, chaotic type of energy, a lot of try the best you can not to be uh, or not to fall into the envious type of energy or the jealousy type of energy. Um, at the end of the day, it's like I tell, uh, you know, most of the clients that I deal with, when you're dealing with the person that is very flirtatious, that has no problem talking to other females or other guys, at the end of the day, you should not go to, to them to confront them because they don't owe you loyalty. The, the people that owe you loyalty is the person that you're with in a relationship or the person that you're giving your time and effort to because they're the ones that are emotionally or should be emotionally invested with you. And if, the, if they're not, then ultimately that's for you to decide and to be able to see through that deception, okay? So understand that and know that. Now, you have the King of Cups here, and the King of Cups very well could represent you, Cancer. Um, this is an energy that is very, usually very clear-headed, but I feel that uh, I'm getting the energy of the King of Cups in reverse. So in reverse, what this could represent is obviously not being able to see clearly, uh, give, being very given to emotional either emotional withdrawals or emotional confrontations uh you're 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 pretty much resonating in 
the negative shadow side okay so again like I said do not ignore your intuition listen to your intuition if something doesn't seem right or something doesn't feel right uh, pay attention to that because there's so many signs that we can get before universe steps in and shatters the shit out of what illusions we thought okay now how your partner views you is the seven of cups so obviously this person is not putting forth the effort uh, they have a lot of either they have a lot of options or they just have scattered energy scattered energy and relationships to me represents they don't know what the hell they want um, they don't have any vision they don't have any focus or they don't have any plans for the near future so it's like they're just going with the flow pay attention to that cancers now the six of cups definitely talks about them dealing with the past partner a person from their past uh, it could very well represent a, a person that is very prominent in their life and the king of cups here i mean the king of pentacles could represent an earth sign so it could be a person from their past that is an earth sign earth sign would be a capricorn a taurus or a virgo um, and again, this the King of Cup. I mean, the King of Pentacles is a very practical person. It doesn't have to be uh, male; could be female as well. It is a general reading. But the King of Pentacles is someone that's very structured. Uh, it's a person that is very grounded. They're very good at making their own money. They're very successful, and they're usually very good at what they do. So, what I'm trying to say with this is, if he seems scattered, or if she seems scattered, and she's not putting energy into you know the connection that you thought you guys had ultimately it has to do not with scattered energy but with other options and the reason for that is because perhaps they have a connection from the past with this pentacles this king of pentacles here and because they're so practical and they're very prone to being able to smell bullshit that's the reason why they feel that they need to invest more with this king of pentacles because they would be able to see through their bullshit and at this point they're not wanting to jeopardize this king of pentacles for giving you or investing time in you okay now the the uh, knight of uh, wands here is definitely them moving forward or moving on or taking a journey or going out of their way to actually see this uh king of pentacles so again like i said i could both i could be both female or male doesn't have to be a male um but again it's it's them going towards this this uh king of pentacles so again like i said ultimately at the end of the day unfortunately sometimes we have to be able to see um through the deception and through the lies and see it for what it is know your worth cancer you guys are worth so much and if it's you the one that's being deceptive and being dishonest know and understand that this seven definitely talks about um seven of cups definitely talks about you thinking you have this person guarded or you think that you have them in your bag so to speak and the six of pentacle i mean the six of cups is definitely talking about uh you're forgetting about someone or don't know about someone from the past that will be coming into this king or queen of pentacles um life where they're going to move forward away from you cancer okay this is for those of you guys that are the deceptive ones so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment my videos if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and we'll see each other at the beginning of the month of october okay Bye.